So today I'm doing the most requested video I think I've ever had throughout the entirety of my YouTube career, and that is a draft to glory. Yes, a video where all we can do is draft players. We can't make any trades. We can't make any free agency signings. We only focus on the players that we draft. So of course, with this being the most requested video, I'm finally bringing it to you guys. If you do enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up down below. Let's aim, let's aim high today. Let's go for 600 likes on this video. It's super early in the morning. It's like six in the morning. I'm hopped up on coffee. I've got my allergies like blowing up my head right now. It's, it's a wild morning, but I'm strapped in. I'm ready for this one, and I hope you are too. If you're new to the channel and enjoy the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, get in the comment section. Let me know if you've ever done like a draft to glory type franchise or if you've ever done a franchise where you solely focus on the prospects that you can get through a draft. So how this works is, like I said, I can only get players that I get through the MLB draft. I can't make any free agency signings. I can't make any trades. So how this is going to work is I'm only going to show you i think i'm gonna skip the first four or five seasons and then at that first year where i have a full mlb roster of prospects that is when i'll start the rebuild so what i'll do is i'll just kind of draft and draft and draft and then once we get started i will show you the team show you what we're looking like and then go from there so i'm deciding to go with the tigers because they are the worst team in baseball and i figured if we're gonna do it we might as well do it with them i'm gonna turn off gm contracts because i don't want to get fired at any point and i want to make sure i stay with this team and of course designated hitter is gonna stay on for now let's hop into it let's check the roster i don't really care about the tigers i did get rid of their best players just because I didn't really care who was on the team anymore and I didn't really want to have to worry about those rosters. Let's let's get into it. It's going to be wild. It's going to be a big, big rebuild and I hope you do enjoy it. So I will see you guys once we get this full draft pick roster. All right, year one, this is our draft. It didn't go as good as I would have hoped, but I think we have a couple sneaky players. David Chang, I think, is going to be a phenomenal pitcher. His walks per nine, Ks per nine, and hits per nine are actually like, hits per nine, not that great, but the home runs per nine are actually in a good spot. I think David Chang is going to be really, really solid. We've got Ayala, who for a second round pick and for a bullpen arm, I think that is a huge pickup for us. We got Burgess, a right fielder who definitely... I think we'll hit the 80 potential mark at some point. I think 78 is being very, very low. We got Harley, Morales, Cabrera, and Mendel. So I think we got a good mix of pitching, a couple outfield players as well. But um, I definitely expect us to have some better drafts. We'll probably have some really bad drafts too. So let's just see how it all plays out. I'll see you guys for season two's draft for a little bit of a recap. I think Chang and Ayala definitely being the standouts for this one. So let's go see what season two has in store. The second season, it went about the same as last year. We actually got a really good pick at the end of the draft. But you guys can see we have Ty Terry. Looks more like a little bit of a project. Those per nines being in the 40s worry me a little bit, um, especially at the age of 22. We've got a 78 potential player in Brandon Grady. He actually looks like he, he could be MLB ready pretty quickly. Michael Ross in center field. Good contact, good speed. Fielding, not so much. But again, he's only 19, so he could develop pretty, pretty well. Cody Batista for a bullpen arm. He looks okay. We'll see how he develops as well. Felix Pena kind of being the dud of the draft. We're going to definitely need to figure out a new catcher. Um, I was hoping he could have been that guy, but doesn't look like it. And then Freddy Guzman being a late snag in the fifth round. There was no sixth round in this draft, but for an 89 potential player, I'm pretty happy with that. So season two's draft in the books. All right, so we're in season three and I figured I probably should be showing you my draft, like my logic and everything going into it. So that probably would have been a smarter idea, huh? And uh, so at least we're doing this now in season three. And looking at it, and I'm kind of like keeping track of like every player that we've drafted, kind of seeing what we're lacking, where we need to kind of start picking up some players. Outfield, we at least have one everywhere. We still need a second baseman and a third baseman, and then definitely some bullpen help. But we do have at least five starters right now. So looking at some of these blue chip prospects, um, maybe Franco. Franco could be a good one for the future. William Kuo looks okay for the future as well. Let's see this catcher here. Steve Martin, actually, not bad looking at all. Ron Finch looks okay, but I think Steve Martin might be the one I go with. No good blue chip starters, no other like blue chip players. And usually blue chip players are like guaranteed ones. Steve Martin, 
maybe related to the actor that maybe a junior or something but you know what steve martin i think is going to be my first pick for sure all right so we have a competitive balance pick which is actually pretty good for us and uh looking at some of these other picks that are available like a, a pitcher would be great like obviously pitcher you can't go wrong with having like a, a a lot of pitchers like it's great to have that depth especially since uh, for pitchers it's really hit or miss if they do well i'm thinking about picking up a closer so call me crazy but like that guy could be really good antoine ross looking at some of the other players that are available um let's see what other positions are available steve avalos could actually be really good for us we do need a second baseman that could be a, a good snag for us looking at some of the other players available adam hines could be a good one there's like a good bat to have esteban herman could be good as well but uh, i'm thinking that second baseman might be the the good one steve avalos yeah let's go for him the guy from venezuela second round here and uh let's see what we can do with this here um you know what i might go adam hines let's take a look at the starting pitching kind of hideki matsui hold on if i had him scouted more i definitely would have taken him i think i'm gonna have to hold off on hideki matsui though um seeing what else is available but i'm, I'm definitely thinking that uh that one oh this guy might actually be kind of good and i don't know if he's gonna go to the next round he looks like he could be a really good long reliever. I'm going to go Barry Camp here in the second round. We're still going to have a lot of other picks. So I feel like we're going to be able to get a lot of our good players. So let's go see if that left fielder is still there. The Heinz guy, he is not. But I did see a right fielder who may be good. Good fielding, good hitting as well. You know what? I'm going to take Del Gaudio. That's not a bad one. All right, we're in the fourth round now. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe some bullpen help if there are some decent picks available. Avery Rice looks good, but that hits per nine and home runs per nine is a little low. So I think I'm going to pass on that. Robbie Metcalf looks okay. Ooh, this is one that kind of interests me. Preston Baines. Good walks per nine, home runs per nine, and hits per nine. Looking at the rest, I think I'm going to pass on the rest. Toby Ham looks decent. Looks decent for sure. And let's see if there's any other players that really catch my eye here. Sean Sandoval. Maybe. Just maybe. Um, sometimes there are some good 75 potential players that kind of have that like little late round gem feel about them. But I think for the most part, I'm thinking pitchers probably our best area to go with. So I'm going to take a stab at Toby Ham. What a name. We're going to go with him. All right, fifth round. I'm thinking pitchers probably still the best area to get. It's never bad to have an abundance of pitchers. Like, you know what? Like, it just... It just makes the most sense, especially bullpen arms. You never know if you're going to have enough. So I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a shot on Hideki Matsui. I think this is going to be a big bust. But let's take It's the name. You got to take him. All right, last pick of the draft. And um, let's just kind of see what's available here. Ray Cora doesn't look terrible. Mm. No. No. Mm-mm. I'm thinking that Cora guy is probably the best bet besides this Baines guy. So either Baines or Cora. I think I'm gonna go. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go Baines. That's gonna be our final pick. Let's go see what these guys are rated. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that was what we needed. A big, big draft. That was oof. Oof. That's what. Oh, that's what, yes. We needed that so badly. Steve Martin, 60 overall with 94 potential. We've got Avalos, nice, 87 potential as well. Barry Camp, 85 potential. This guy was my stab in the dark, and it actually paid off really, really well. Happy about that one. Delgadio, 81 potential, 85 potential for Toby Ham. Yes, Hideki Matsui, he's even got 80 potential, and then 79 for Preston Baines. We've, we've basically solidified some really good pitchers for this one. We've got some really good position players as well. This was our best draft by far in season three. So uh, let's keep going. Let's try to fill out the rest of the squad. We're going to definitely need some uh, position players. We're kind of lacking on the depth there. So let's start picking up some more position players. Hopefully we get some good picks in the future. But so far, so good. Season four, lights busting through or the sun is busting through the blinds. Let me fix that and then we'll get into the season four draft. All right, so much better. I, I was about to go blind. All right, let's see what we have in terms of blue chip prospects. Um, ooh, maybe Sam Pesky. Sam Pesky looking kind of nice. Okay, 
um other blue chip prospects that are available what a, he's not a blue chip prospect but always getting a good catcher is not bad and he looks kind of decent um we still need a third baseman so that's something i'm going to keep my eye on and it looks like in terms of blue chip prospects which are normally the ones that are guaranteed to be good not too many good ones i'm just gonna take that starting pitcher straight off the bat that guy looks really really good there's no point in passing up on him we might as well take him so sam pesky welcome to detroit all right round two and uh like i did say we do need a third baseman but of course if there's a better player available we're gonna take it looking at the picks sean hansen not so much um let me see if there's any other sneaky decent players that we could potentially get third base might have to wait because uh, i mean not many good picks available for third base and even like first base rico morales not not too bad he could potentially be a decent one i'm really intrigued by this chang ho song yeah chang ho song might be the pick unless one of these guys really piques my interest but it doesn't look like it. So I'm thinking Cheng Ho Sung might be the move. Maybe even a bullpen arm. Because our bullpen arms are kind of bad. So maybe maybe a bullpen arm is the move as well. So like there's a, there's a lot of different avenues we could take this. Um, You know what? Let's let's take Nace, Nelson Huh? Nelson who? Alright, competitive balance pick. And I'm going to see. Yeah, this catcher is available. I'm going to take him. He might be really good. He might be really bad. But we might as well give it a shot third round hmm this salazar guy looks kind of good this via fuerte looks kind of good as well what about freddy vargas the case per nine is a little low but overall i'm pretty happy with some of these available picks that we have alejandro mesa mm, no we're gonna pass on that i'm thinking we're gonna go one of those pitchers that ooh, henry reyes Let's go Henry Reyes. Some of these guys could end up being bullpen arms anyway, so might as well stack up on some pitchers. All right, last picks I'm thinking are going to be position players, unless we have, like, just no good position players available, which it's kind of looking like is going to be the situation. Maybe we just need to start drafting position players from the start. That might, that might have to be what happens because we're not... Ooh, do I take a shot on that guy? I feel like we do need position players. We might as well take a shot on him. Is he going to be 70 overall? Probably not, but let's give it a shot. All right, Brian Salazar is still available. I feel like this is just too good to pass up. We might as well take him. We're going to have one more pick, and I'm thinking it's going to be a closer if that guy's still available. He's not, which does suck. Um, so let's see what position players are left. And then, if this guy's still available, that might be the pick just because he is the higher potential player that's left. Yeah, I'm going to take that second, what was it, a second baseman I think it was? Yeah, we'll just take him just because we do need some position players. And let's go see how that just played out because who knows. Alright, so reminder, this is Season 4's draft and I'm kind of intrigued. Again, pretty good. Sam Pesky, 71 overall with 93 potential. Nelson Huh, who, whatever it is, nice nice overall with really good potential i like that sung 79 potential 73 overall though i'm okay with that that's a good either starter or backup catcher always need some catchers henry reyes really solid pickup for us 65 stamina so could be a long reliever maybe even just a five in the rotation just based on the fact that his stamina is not that great Ibanez only goes up one in terms of potential but a player who could either be a platoon guy or also just start right away because he is going to be one of the higher rated players that we do have salazar i'm actually really happy we picked this guy up 86 potential bautista kind of the dud for the draft but through four seasons i'm feeling pretty good i'm gonna do one more draft just so that we can have like kind of an abundance of players to kind of pick from and then i'm gonna do like a recap of all the players show you guys what we're looking like and then we're going to hop into like season six being the first official season of this rebuild and see how it goes. All right. Season five. Nope. Five. We're going we're gonna to do it this way. This is where things are going to get a little interesting because this is like the last draft before we really start focusing on like, let's get these players in the MLB. Let's really see how these players develop and see how we do. I only see one blue chip prospect, which is not what you want to see. Oh, here's some down here. Okay. So let's just go through each position, see what do we got. Otis Jones, 
probably not a player I want. At this point, I'm looking for players that are like almost MLB ready. So maybe someone like Wan Young Sun. Maybe. We'll see. Joaquin Cordova. <sighs> not really who I'm looking for. Adam Aguero. Probably not going to be 80, you know, 80 on the MLB scouting scale. Um, Chase Waters. Mark Barney. See, like those hitting stats, that's what I want to see. I want to see MLB ready type stuff salvador cruz uh robert perez maybe not roberto perez but robert perez stanley topic like those hitting stats that could be something we could get um let's see david little mm, let's see oh we could use we could use like one more one more bullpen arm that would be if we could get a really good bullpen arm that would be perfect uh looking at some of the pitchers i'm not really too impressed with them I think offense is where we really need to focus. Um, let's just try to get a really good bench bat. I'm going to look at the different options and we'll see what we can get. I'm going to take a chance. First, it's the first overall pick, right? Do I take it safe and then just hope that we can get some of those other guys later in the draft? I think I kind of have to. I think I need to be a little bit safe on this one. Just get someone that's going to be a guaranteed good player. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think the best one out of the bunch is that center fielder. But, like, these picks are bad. These are not any good blue chip prospects at all. We'll take the center fielder and hope that some of the players that I want drop a little bit later into the draft. I think they might, actually. Because if that first baseman's still there, 100% going to take him. He is. Yeah, I need those hitting stats. We're going to throw him into the team. Second round, I already know who I want. It just all depends if he's still there. It was a center fielder, and I think he's still there. Dave Jordan. I'm going to take a big shot on this guy. Those hitting stats look way too good to pass up. All right, Mark Barney still available as well. Like I said, we need some good hitters. I think that's a good pickup for us. I'm really torn because I, I really want to get some bullpen help. I don't know if Jamie Hines is good. Wasn't there a Jamie Hines earlier who was like a left fielder? Um, and I think in like season two's draft or something like that season three's draft um, Looking at our bullpen. We have a couple. Okay arms We have a couple starters who could potentially move it to the bullpen, but this is round four So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take this this guy right here this shortstop Wan young sung and then If those other guys are still available those relievers then I'll take them for five and six and we'll go from there. I'm hoping at least one of those guys from the bullpen still is available. Yeah, like Pedraza or it was not him, not him, not him. Okay, so the one guy that I actually wanted was taken. So mm, that's a little disappointing. But I'm going to take, I'm going to try, let's go Jamie Hines. And then we'll see who we can get for the last pick. I don't really know. Man, I feel like we should probably take another pitcher just to be safe. Um, especially since the outfield players probably aren't that the position players. Mm, yeah, not that great. So we'll go with, you know what? That might not be a bad little bullpen pick, pick right there. Nick Nelson, the walks per nine is just a little too low for my liking. Troy Hacker, no. So you know what? I'm going to take a little shot here with this. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go Howie McMillan. We'll see how it goes. I know. I'm, I'm all over the place with these last picks. I, I There was a reliever that I really wanted, and he got taken um, a little bit later in the fourth round. But let's see where we finish with this fifth round. And you know what? Okay, I'm okay with that. It may not be the best, but we're still going to have some MLB-ready players. Otis Jones, 93 potential. He's going to be a project. Hopefully, he develops quickly. Those hitting stats, I, it looks like he's going to be a, a just a speed option which sucks, but that's the way it's going to be. Stanley Topic though, or Topic, good contact stats, good vision. I like the looks of that. Any secondary positions? Not none, but mm, we'll see. David Jordan. Ooh, yeah, his potential isn't that high, but you know what? That's a guy we can stick into the MLB lineup right away, and I'm down for that. Mark Barney, kind of the same thing. He's gives, giving me like Luis Arias vibes. Those are the kind of vibes I'm getting from him. Um, Wang Young Sung looks okay. Probably more of a platoon player. Jamie Hines, 70 overall. Okay, that's a good, good bullpen arm day one. And then Howie McMillan, 84 potential. Oh, that was a great pickup for us. 53 stamina though, so I'm thinking more of a bullpen guy. 
I'm okay with all those picks. I'll see you guys for the official start of next year where we do the kind of recap and we'll get this draft to glory started. Alrighty, we're about to start year six already. It's insane, but I wanna show you the team, the players that we have, go through every single pick that we've had throughout this last five seasons, just so you can see that they're still all on the team. Um, some of them has somehow snuck out every once in a while. Like, every other year I lose like one or two of the players, so I have to go like sign them in free agency or like um, what I just had to do with one of the picks that we actually just had last season. He signed with the Red Sox somehow. So um, what I did was I made a quick trade and I'll actually just show you guys the trade so that you guys can see it as well. So Howie McMillan was the starter that we drafted at the end of last draft. So I just traded two of our outfielders to make that happen. So yeah, that's really about it. Um, outside of that, the team is the exact same. So I'm gonna go through every single player that we've drafted um, so that you guys can kind of see what it is, what's going on with the squad. Um, so from season one, we had David Chang, who's actually been in the bigs for, I think like a season and a half now. Yeah, you guys can kind of see, and he's been okay. You're definitely still developing, but this are his stats. 64 stamina does worry me a little bit, so we'll have to wait and see. The other player we had from season one, here, I'm going to move it so I can see it, was Marco Ayala, who looks like he's going to be a fantastic reliever. Struggled a little bit last year, but I definitely think he'll improve as the time goes by. He's only 24 years old. Next up was Burgess, who is a right fielder. Actually, let's just go through by positions. It's easier that way. So we had Burgess and Del Gaudio. Those are our two outfielders that we have in center or right fielders. In center field, we have David Jordan, who was a, most, a pretty recent pick. We've got Michael Ross and then um, Otis Jones, who was also a very recent pick. He's not going to be in the bigs, but you guys can see who is. And then Freddie Guzman is going to be one of the left fielders that we have. At shortstop, we had Freddie Mendel, who was a season one pick. And then Wan Young Sung, who was, uh, I think, season four, if I'm right. And then uh, that's it for shortstops. When you look at third base, we haven't drafted a single third baseman. F second base, we have Avalos Ibanez. We have Batista and Barney. I think that's it. And then Avalos was season three. Okay, so there's season three. And then Ibanez was season four. Yeah, season four. And then the other guys were kind of sprinkled in there as well. So um, the big one here is Avalos. I got to make sure he's in the lineup as much as possible. At first base, we have Harley and also Topic. I'm going to let Harley start for now, but I definitely expect Topic to come in and take over very very quickly um at catchers we have chang ho sung and steve martin this is the big one that i'm like i need him to develop steve martin is the main man we also had Sung. uh no we had a really really bad one in pena probably not going to last on the team too much longer and then at closing pitchers we had who or hugh who was like what season four um relievers we had ayala heinz batista ham and then Preston Baines, I believe that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five. And there was one more that I'm missing. Who am I missing here? Oh, Hugh, there it is. And then for starting pitchers, we've had a bunch. We've had Chang, Morales, we had Cabrera, we had Terry, Grady, who's up here, Camp, who is, where is he? Where is he? There's Camp. We had Matsui, who's down here a little bit. We had Pesky. We had Reyes, then Salazar, who's also down here. And then the final one was McMillan, who I just said I traded for. That is all of our picks that we've had throughout the, the drafts, which is crazy to think about. So now the big problem, the big difficulty about this like draft to glory or draft rebuild is that I'm going to have to figure out a way to make sure I keep all of these players without losing them to some sort of massive contract or anything like that. So now it's just a normal rebuild. I, I still can't make any trades. I still can't make any signings. I'm still going to focus on the draft. But now the big part of contracts comes into play because budgets is on. So we're going to have to pick and choose who we keep, who we like, who we want to get rid of. And now let me show you what we're going to be rocking with for a pitching rotation, bullpen, and starting lineup. So this is the good stuff. So Chang is kind of our main piece right now. You guys can see Morales, um, Terry, 
grady and pesky so probably going to struggle a little bit with the rotation we're going to see how some other players develop as well barry camp i feel like is going to be a decent decent long reliever he's got some really good stats i think he's going to fit that role well we have heinz ham cabrera who i think is probably going to move to maybe a long reliever or a starting spot we'll have to wait and see batista who is getting called up way too soon i'm going to really need to find some good relievers we have who and then also ayala who's our closer i don't think he's going to be a closer i think he's more of a setup guy but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out lineup wise we don't really have too many choices but this is this is what we're kind of rocking with for the the most part i feel like these are going to be our main our mainstays in the lineup and then we'll kind of swap out players as we need to but for the most part you know what i i'm, I'm actually kind of happy with this lineup i think we're gonna continue to improve and things are only going to get better so this is the team we'll see how it goes for the rest of the season i definitely want um guzman playing as much as possible but this is the team it looks it looks okay we're definitely ranked last though so we'll see how it improves see how this season plays out but for season one of the rebuild it's actually not too bad players are act we've we've gotten pretty lucky with the draft and we're we've actually got some pretty decent rated players so players are improving so let's get through it man this one's gonna be tough so let's see how it goes all right season six draft let's take a look um i'm not very confident in it a couple decent players jeffrey mcclain was the first pick and i really wanted a good reliever that i could have some faith in within the next couple seasons jeffrey mcclain is definitely that guy 100 percent. 83 over or 83 potential for cesar soriano okay 78 for sean castro a couple lower rated players but i was really just focusing on their hitting stats so chadwick's here um Takatsu, 73 potential for a reliever is not bad. Um, Dixian, okay for a starting pitcher. And then this guy, I really just picked him because of his per nines uh, for walks. And that's Zuminski. Looks okay. Good potential as well, though. So you never know. You might turn into a beast. An okay season six. Um, I'm going to start to kind of get picky with the players I start signing. But yeah, those are the, those are the players for season six. I think McLean could be a good reliever for us next year. Who knows? All right, so this is the first, like, technical season. I'm just going to keep going from, like, where we started drafting. So this is year six, technically. And uh, to be honest, pretty happy with the team. 64 and 98, that's not terrible. That's not terrible for just a bunch of players that we've drafted. In the league, we did finish last in the division, which is disappointing. But you know what? We are ranked last. Like, we're last in a lot of categories. And when you take a look around the league just to kind of get an idea of who's in first and whatnot, this is what we're, we're, we're looking like. So um, I guess we could kind of just kind of peek at some of the lineups just so you guys can kind of see who's where. Pete Alonzo with the Royals. Okay, that's an interesting one. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of slowly go through it just so you guys can kind of see who's on what team. And um, at any point, if you want to, go ahead and pause it so you guys can see the lineups and who's on what team, who's changed teams, who's moved, who's developed into a star, who has kind of fallen off. Remember, we're in six seasons deep, so it's going to be some players are going to be gone, some players are going to increase, some players are going to decrease. So this is just a, a quick little peek into who's, who's done well and who's done poorly at this point. So you guys can kind of see who's going to be some of the top teams and who's going to be some of the, the you know the bottom bottom of the barrel what a name tukupita marcano he actually looks kind of good too so maybe a player we need to keep our eye out for in the future if we ever play the padres in the uh in the postseason so or it would be the world series since we're an al team so here we go this is uh the looks around the league we'll take a quick look at some of the starting pitching just so you can again just get an idea of what the league's looking like at this point and like i said for where we are i'm pretty happy with what the team was able to put up this season they what yeah we were last in the division but at least we weren't like the worst team ever in baseball so i'm still pretty happy with it i'm kind of intrigued to see how the teams are gonna or how the players are gonna improve especially with the new guys that we're gonna continue to draft continue to bring into the squad so i'm i'm pretty excited to see how this plays out it's a little bit different obviously it's kind of like a it's like uh you get the you get the main details of this whole rebuild rather than me going through each individual season and you guys having to figure out 
figure out what's going on because it would just be too long if I had to break down every single year as we do it. So no league leaders. I'm not going to focus on that. We do get an award at Gold Glove for Edgar Morales. All right. But um, you guys can kind of see who's winning the awards there. Tyler Maley is winning the Cy Young. Um, okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. No rookie of the years, which is disappointing to see. But okay. Let's take a look at our pitching staff. See how we did as a team branded brandon grady got moved to the long relief role didn't really suit him so like i said i do want to find some better pitchers um so that's why i was kind of focusing on some of the picks there and hopefully we can get some good relievers toby ham looking like he's going to be a solid reliever for us though javier cabrera maybe not so much we'll have to wait and see cody batista yeah i love to see that that's a that's some good stats right there hugh struggled a little bit maybe move him into the the middle relief spot and then ayala those are numbers i want to see that is fantastic he's up to an 85 already boom that is perfect uh chang pretty good year i'm actually really happy with that he's definitely our ace for sure morales is okay he's gonna get better same with camp um i definitely think he's gonna be a pretty solid arm for us terry struggled pesky struggled i know we do have a couple arms down here but they're 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 not ready we're gonna have to hold off on them for sure and then when we hop into the lineup, let's kind of take a quick little peek at some of these players and see how each each player did. Because some of them, I'm like, yeah, we really want to keep them into the team. And other ones, I'm like, I kind of am just waiting, see if we can get a better player to hop in. Harley actually did quite well. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Burgess did okay. I guess I should actually show you guys what we're working with here. So, all right. You know what? Some players did well. Like, Harley had a good season. Burgess had a decent season. Avalos had a really good year. Yes, definitely going to be our second baseman going forward 100%. Freddy Guzman had a pretty good year as well. Left field, locked. Catcher, probably an area we're going to need to find a new pick. Same with shortstop. Those are kind of our two weakest spots in the team. And uh, yeah, Wan Young Sung, where was he playing? Third base? Yeah, definitely shortstop and third base along with catcher. These three spots right here, probably our worst area. We do have a couple players coming up, um, but... You know what? Like Barney could potentially come up soon. Topic, because he got a secondary left field. Eh, not really somewhere we need somebody, but um, we'll definitely figure something out. So that's the season. Let's get into the off season where we don't really need to worry about anything. So I'll see you guys next year. We'll set the lineup. Nothing's gonna change, I don't think, unless we throw in that that reliever we drafted. But I think we'll just keep moving forward. All right, so let's do a quick recap. I think we're going to do beginning of the season lineup. And then at the end of the season, we'll do like a, a recap of the season. And then I'll show you the draft picks. That way we're not doing like beginning of the season, draft picks, end of season, repeat. So that way we could just do beginning of season, end of season. This is season seven now in total. Woo, we're moving through this like crazy. So here's the team so far. Um, no changes to the offensive lineup. Um, I've, I felt like the team was like pretty decent last year. Um, I just need a little bit better MLB ready hitters. And like, that's, that's going to be the whole focus on the draft. Um, I feel like we have quite a few pitchers. Um, there were a couple, there was one position player change for position. And then I made one starter, a bullpen arm. That were the only changes that I made. Um, and once I... Once I show you the change, you'll see why. So, um, McLean, I'm going to let him develop one year in the minors. And then I'll probably bring him up next year. And then the one player I changed from a starter to a reliever was Mick Millen. 53 stamina. Um, I know you guys can't see it. 53 stamina. It's just, it's not good. It's not good enough for a, a starting pitcher. I just feel like it's better for like a, a long reliever or just a, just somewhere in the middle of the, the middle of the bullpen area. So like a middle reliever. But um, this is the team. Like I said, I feel like we've we've got some good young pitchers. I just need them to develop. And once they develop, we'll be fine. And then the one change I made position-wise was... It was... Oh, Soriano. Where is he? Soriano. I made him a third baseman. Cesar Soriano. I made him a third baseman instead of a second baseman. That's why his overall went down a little bit. Other than that, everybody else is the exact same. Everybody else is still on the squad. My main focus is try to find the best possible hitters in the draft and maybe try to find another bullpen arm because like starters, we're set. We have plenty of starters. 
we need some bullpen help and some really good hitters so we'll see if we can find that i'll see you guys at the end of the season we're still ranked 30th though all right so i think we did a little bit worse than what we did last year pretty disappointing terrible month to end the year look at all those losses i i don't know what happened like everybody just kind of fell off so not good not good you can see we weren't last though so that's i guess a, a positive if you want to take it that way but we're definitely still pretty far off from competing in the postseason del gaudio had the most stolen bases and harley had the most hits which is cool to see we have we've got some league leading stats and awards we have a gold glove so again that's pretty cool to see like we're starting we're starting to make a name for ourselves slowly but surely we're making a name for ourselves so you guys can see the award winners there and uh, we'll take a look at our team now because i want to do a quick little recap of it so brandy grady about the same as what he did last year toby ham wasn't as good at all half the innings just really struggled Hines a little bit better in improvement batista still really consistent love to see it it's looking like he's going to be a really good middle relief arm for us javier cabrera definitely improved so we'll see how he does nelson who oh his potential went up and he improved you love it he might be our new setup guy and marco ayala he's our closer like i, I feel like that's his spot for sure for uh, until like jeffrey mclean comes up and i still think jeffrey mclean might i might wait another half season with or another season for him and see what we can do david chang not as good as he was last year but still you know what he's a pretty solid arm for us edgar morales really similar to what he did last year Barry Camp, same thing. Actually, a little worse, actually, which is worrisome. Same with Pesky. And Ty Terry did improve. Looking at some of the other arms we have, we have Reyes, who, again, probably looks more like a long reliever, which is disappointing. Matsui kind of looks like a long reliever. Salazar could be a starter. Howie McMillan, definitely a middle middle reliever. So we'll, we'll figure something out with that. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely figure out the, uh, the whole pitching situation. Let's take a look at our offense see how the team did you know what steve martin still putting up good numbers sung not so much and david jordan not so much either so steve avalos potential went down it looks like he's not a leadoff guy which okay that's perfectly fine like we'll we'll have to somehow find a leadoff guy michael ross had a, a pretty decent season barney harley did as well even better than what he did last year he hit 313 this year Gary Burgess is up to an 80. Is that our first offensive 80? Oh, no. We've got Guzman and Avalos as well, along with Ibanez and Delgado. So we have a couple 80s. But Burgess, pretty similar to what he did last year. Guzman, a little bit worse. Um, actually, quite a bit worse. Ibanez, kind of the same thing. He's kind of taking a step back. Sung, eh. M Mendel, meh. Delgado, meh. You know? We, we need someone to come up and just kind of really take over. And uh, we just, we don't have that. So that's disappointing. Maybe Topic. Topic might be that guy. Like he, he's got some good hitting stats as well as that's really about it. Maybe Barney. He can kind of sneak in at second base potentially. I don't really know, man. The team's looking kind of suspect. This might be a really, 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 really long video with the way things are looking. So let's get into the off season and uh let's take a look at our no exclusive negotiations which is good um and let's on some extra unexercised options what uh oh yeah um cabrera we can pick that up heinz you know what he got better michael ross we don't really have a ch i mean we might as well take him we don't really have a choice we kind of need the players for right now so I will show you who we've signed already so that you guys can kind of take a look and see what we have. So Hammock here, you can see his stats on the right. He's got 95 potential. Gonzalez has 74 potential. Hagen has 79 potential. Blake has 85 potential. Hillman has 86 potential. Alexander has 73. And then Lyles has 78. So a pretty good bullpen pickup like a lot of good relievers a couple starters a second baseman like i purposefully went after a lot of bullpen arms i think our bullpen's really gonna benefit from these picks in the draft so i'm liking them i'll see you guys for the next season all right 
So I'm gonna show you the main players of the team now. I'm not really gonna worry about the players who are like not developing at all. And um, just kind of the, the, main, the main players we've drafted that are kind of sticking around and becoming mainstays in the team or players that I think are going to be in the team soon or within the next couple seasons. I know, change of clothes, different day. I didn't think I was going to be simming 47 years into the future for this day, uh, this draft of glory or this draft only rebuild. So let's take a look at the pitching rotation. You can see Chang, Ty Terry, Barry Camp. Um, I'll show you guys their, their attributes and their stats really quick just so you guys can get a look at both. So we got Chang here with his attributes um, and his statistics throughout his career. We've got Terry. We've got Camp. And then Morales and Grady so the, those are the starters you guys can see their their stats on screen now next to, like right above their names and then when we look at the bullpen we've got Cabrera as a long reliever we've got Batista Ham Reyes who was actually a starter but I was looking at his attributes and he's got some good clutch some decent control like all good stats around the board and I thought you know what let's throw him as a bullpen arm we're in need of a good bullpen arm this might be the right guy for us so I was like okay that helps us out we brought up McLean we have huh or who or yeah I don't know what to say and then of course Marco Ayala who's been kind of a mainstay in the team for the last couple seasons so you guys can see their statistics throughout their career right now McLean struggled a little bit last season um, Reyes did as well but his was more as like a, a starter and then we have Ham, Batista, and then Cabrera. So those, those are kind of the players that are starting in the major squad. And then we also have another player here in Preston Hines. No, Preston Baines. Jamie Hines got sent down to the minors. That was another player that we drafted. Sam Pesky doesn't make the squad anymore. Hideki Matsui is down here developing. This guy, again, with his control and his clutch, might end up being a bullpen arm. Just based on this, the pitches he had, or not the pitches, but the stats he has, I think he could be a really solid bullpen arm for us, just depending on how everything plays out. Um, we have Salazar, who is also a player that we drafted. Howie McMillan is definitely going to become a, a bullpen arm. 53 stamina is not a starter, and his stats definitely show bullpen. That's just what I'm looking at. We have Zuminski, and then we have Hillman and Hammock. I think those are all for the, the bullpen arm starters and all that stuff. Now let's take a look at the good stuff, the lineup, the offensive players. And this is going to be our starting lineup, I think, for at least this season and next season. This one's kind of tough, but these are kind of the main guys here. Um, Ibanez, who I actually moved to a third baseman instead of a second baseman. And then um, we have Martin, who's going to probably be our catcher for, catcher for the foreseeable future. He's, he's really good, good contact stats. We've got Harley, Burgess. Del Gaudio, Guzman, Avalos, Mendel, and then Barney. I think this is going to be probably our starting lineup for at least another season or two. And then when you look at their career stats, um, a couple players have been kind of mainstays in the team. But this one's this one's going to be tough for sure. This one's going to be pretty tough. So I'm kind of interested to see how some of these players progress. Um, the main ones I'm looking forward to are Stanley Topic. Um, and that's that's really it, man. There's, there's not a lot of like MLB ready hitters just yet. So that's, that's sad. I'm going to keep looking through the draft, but who knows. So I think this is a team that might sneak into the postseason. Call me crazy, but it might be it. So I'll see you guys at the end of it. So I normally wouldn't show you the draft. This was the guy I wanted, and he went the pick before us. He is going to be unbelievable. He could have helped us out so much, and he went the pick before us. All right, he's year eight no playoffs 60 and 102 which not good enough not good enough we'll stop here see kind of what everything's looking like so we finished last in our division which is not good not good at all and it's kind of looking like the worst team in baseball which definitely not what we wanted but man that's tough so we do have a league leader doubles and stolen bases which okay i'll take that and then awards some gold gloves disappointing but again that's all right so let's continue to look at the team see how things are going chang is 100 percent our 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 ace like there's nothing changing about that terry is improving slowly you've got camp who's struggling morales who oh okay not a bad season for morales i'll take that for sure that's a good season 
uh, Brandon Grady, not too bad. Cabrera's like, eh. He might slowly start to get fizzled out of the bullpen. We definitely have some other options starting to come up. Batista's looking decent. Ham had a good year. Reyes, okay. Maybe that move to the bullpen was just what we needed for Reyes. McLean had a good year. Ha huh was okay, so maybe we just kind of move him into a setup or a middle relief role rather than a setup role. And then the closer, Ayala struggled. So maybe we just move like McLean to the closer spot and just kind of shuffle the bullpen around until we find the right spots for each personnel. Because right now, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. And then when you look at some of our players down here, Preston Baines has gone up to a 70, which is interesting. We have also have Hines, who's still a 71. Hammock's up to a 77. Pesky's up to a 78. We could throw him into the rotation. Matsui's up to a 76. So we definitely have some names that I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on because they might pop in to the uh, the rotation or the bullpen next season, depending how things go. When we look at the team, you guys can see Abanias had a good year. Martin, not so much. I might drop him a little bit lower into the, the lineup, see how that goes. Harley is one of our best hitters by far. He's having a pretty good season. And um, let's kind of backtrack a little bit. So Ibanez did improve, which is good to see. I still don't think he is a leadoff guy. We, we just don't have a true leadoff hitter. That's really what's hurting us. Um, our catcher, Steve Martin, you know what? He's not a bad hitter. It's just probably needs to be a little bit lower in the rotate, or not the rotation, the lineup. Har uh, Harley's our best hitter, easily, 100%. Gary Burgess put up a pretty s normal year. 35 home runs, though. I'll take that. Del Gaudio struggled. Freddie Guzman, better, kind of maybe um avalos better love to see that that's definitely what i want to see mendel better okay we're, we're starting to get some better stats here and there and then barney in his first full season struggled at the plate and then the rest of the guys yikes so okay von chadwick good hitting stats maybe another season or two before we get him in the team but okay step in the right direction for there like for that we've got topic who he's got to get into the team how maybe as a, a dh that might be the spot for him because otherwise i don't know how else we're gonna get him in the lineup i don't think this guy's someone that we drafted from what i remember um i'm looking at like my my cheat sheet that has like all the players my little my graph right not my graph but like my sheet right here that has all the players definitely not someone that we drafted and no one down here is good enough to be in the team so i think it's just gonna be topic maybe chadwick over i don't know our, our outfield's not terrible I just don't know how we're going to get everybody involved. We're going to have to figure something out, though. Um, let me show you our new players for next year. All right. In the year 2027, the Red Sox defeat the Dodgers for the World Series. So, all right. The Dodgers are still in World Series. Uh, what a surprise, right? So, let's keep going. I want to show you the new players that we have signed. Um, I don't think we have any exclusive negotiations to worry about let me double check just in case we do not we don't all right cool that's good to know and then now heading into the offseason we can see who who actually signed with the squad so here we go let me show you who we have we've got rutledge with a potential you guys can see the stats there we've got moya with c potential more of his hitting stats i was looking forward to um his potential was like mid 70s anyway so it's not too bad bowden he's got Where's my sheet? He's got 81 potential. I think it was. I hope it was. Yeah, 81. Sandoval has 81 potential as well. I mean, so B is like 80s potential. So you guys can kind of figure it out. And then, yeah, not, not too bad. Definitely some good hitting stats. That's what I really wanted. I wanted players with good hitting stats. And we got that. So time for season nine. Let's see if we can at least get close to a wild card spot. Season nine to start. Pitching is actually coming together really good. I just need some hitting. That, I think that's what is the biggest issue with this team right now because you're about to see this team and be like, oh, okay, okay, look at that pitching. That pitching is actually pretty nice. We've got Chang, Terry, Camp, who, I mean, he's putting together some really nice per nines. You got Pesky, who's come up, and then Morales, and then we've got Grady as our long reliever, Ham, who's up to an 82. We've got Batista, Reyes, Huh. I, I, we'll just call him Nelson from now on. Ayala and then McLean. And then in the farm system, we've got also Rutledge. I mean, this is kind of a, a big old mess right now. We've got Hines and Hammock. And then over here, we have Salazar, Cabrera, Matsui. All three of those guys I'm looking forward to. Same with Serrano. And then here we've got Zuminski, the closer over there, McMillan, and then also Hillman. So those are kind of the, the, the pitchers to look forward to. So when we take a look at our lineup now, 
Um, in the minors, there's not too many good names. There's Castro. There's Lyles, just purely for his contact numbers. And then I said Gonzalez wasn't a player that we drafted. He actually was season seven. Hitting stats aren't developing like I would have hoped, unfortunately. Really, it's just Chadwick. His contact numbers look amazing. Maybe next year. It just depends because I'm starting to look at some of these players. And there's definitely some guys that I might start taking out. One of those players is Michael Ross. Don't really think we need him that much more. Same with David Jordan. They're just not really developing anymore. They might just end up getting kicked out of the team pretty soon. So we've got Avalos, who's an 83 rated. We've got Ibanez. Harley, Burgess, Ross, Guzman, Martin, Barney, and then Topic has come up to play kind of like a DH. Might even slide into left field because he does have that as a secondary. So this is the team. We're going to see how it goes. We're still ranked 30th. We're still pretty bad <laughs> when you look at it. We are fifth in contact, though, 12th in pitching and 12th in speed. It's just we don't really have a lot of power, and I think that's something that really holds us back from scoring a lot of runs so hopefully it'll improve hopefully things will get better and uh, let's see how this ninth season plays out okay our first positive season 84 and 78 holy cow we're moving up and i'm talking like we're we're way up there like we're, we're celebrating this season <laughs> we came seven games away from the central divisional like championship we we almost won the division Kind of seven games away, which isn't too bad. And in the wild card, only three games off. Okay, we're taking steps, big steps. We had the most stolen bases for Avalos, no, nothing else, which is okay. But some awards, maybe not a gold glove. We got a rookie of the year for Stanley Topic, and then Freddie Guzman won the gold glove. I'm kind of psyched about this team now. Like, okay, Brandon Grady's probably done after this year, it's just probably time to get him out the squad toby ham's looking like a really solid arm for us batista's looking like an okay arm i mean he's still developing we'll see how that goes as you know the seasons continue henry reyes i'm actually psyched that we moved him to the bullpen because he's looking like he's going to be a mainstay for the next couple of years for sure nelson's getting oh nelson i love to see it what are his attributes looking like Oh, wow. He might end up being the closer for sure. Marco Ayala is getting worse, which sucks, man, because he had such good stats. Look at those per nines. And then Jeremy McLean. Je Jeremy. Jeffrey McLean. So maybe maybe uh, Nelson moves to the setup role. We got McLean as our closer. Whatever it is, it's looking good. David Chang looks like he took a little step back. He didn't have a bad season. It's just like, you know, it wasn't as good as I would have hoped. Ty Terry's had an okay year. Barry Camp struggle. Well, I mean, he's kind of been doing the same thing, so I can't get too upset. Sam Pesky took a step in the right direction. Okay, I like to see that. And Edgar Morales as a five, still putting up really good numbers. Let's check down here, see what we got. Salazar could potentially come up. We've got Matsui. Cabrera's already had his chance, kind of. Um, and then we've got Rutledge and hammock our bullpen is going to be set like we might have too many bullpen arms now i think it's at the point where we probably should start looking for more starters rather than bullpen arms because i think our bullpen's starting to really develop so let's take a look at our our bench here and um you know what i'm starting to see some really good stats here and i like it um not this one i think sung's time is kind of running out with the team but so far, so good. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. Some improvements. Um, it looks like someone got sent down, maybe? No. Okay. Avalos hit 286, though. Yes. 829 OPS, 21 home runs. Yes. Love it. Abanez taking a step back, which is disappointing. I, was, I had really high hopes for him. Harley's taking a step back as well, which does suck. Potential and overall have gone down. It might just be time to throw in Topic. We've got Burgess who hit 31 home runs. If he can still crank out 30 home runs like that, I'm, keep, I'm fine keeping him in the team. We need some power. You know, he's going to bring it. Michael Ross struggled. I think it's going to be uh, Chadwick's time. Guzman, good year. I'll take that. Martin, okay. Uh, you know what? Those are steps in the right direction. Barney had an okay season. And then Topic was rookie of the year. His potential went down though. Mmm. Yikes. Okay, so Otis Jones is just not developing as quickly as I would have hoped. We have Soriano, who 
I still think he's like another year or two away. He's still pretty young at 21. This guy, though, I definitely think this guy's coming up next year. His hitting stats are just too good to not get into the team. We need good hitters, and that's, that's kind of what he is. Um, Moya was third baseman. Man, his stats look good, too. Is it time to bring him up? Huh. We got we got some thinking to do. We got Bowden as well. So, okay. You know what? We're we're get, we're getting there though. We're getting closer. Let's head into the off season. The Reds defeat the Red Sox. So the battle of the Red there and all right, let's see what we got here. All right, so our new players are Robert Mata, which a potential was like one of the better ones. He's got 73 power. I'm hoping he can bring some power to the lineup. We've got Dustin Rice. He was okay. Moya, good contact stats. I'm hoping he improves very, very quickly with those contact stats. I definitely think he can help us out. We've got Arnett. We've got Siegel. The starting pitching was actually really disappointing in this draft. So that's why I stuck with the bullpen arms. We've got Nieves, who's got really good contact versus left. And then, of course, Alvin Ramirez, who just not as good as I would have hoped either. So our budget. We're still pretty healthy with our budget. A lot of rookie contracts still. The thing is... A lot of guys are going to be start hitting free agency and a lot of guys are going to start to ask for some money so we'll have to keep keep up with the budget i'll keep showing you guys everything but so far we're improving i mean that was what year nine we're about to hit into year 10 so if we get into year 10 and hit the playoffs i'd be pretty happy with a full draft roster so let's see how year 10 plays out all right so season 10 i believe this is season 10 i hope it's season 10 i'm losing track I've taken breaks here and there in between recording sessions because we've been doing this for so long. I'm like 99% sure it's a season 10. So I'm going to do a quick little like check in on the teams just to kind of get an idea of what each team looks like because I have no idea. Austin Martin is now on the Royals. Okay. The Royals look oh They got Gavin Lux. That's a big pickup. What else we got? Michael Chavis, Julio Pablo Martinez, formerly of the Rangers. So it's looking like... At this point, it's a lot of those younger players who are rookies or in like some top prospects are starting to come up and really starting to play a part in the league. Christian Yelich has got to be like 37, right? Yeah, 37 years old and he's still a 90 overall. Okay, uh, no more Mazzaro, Willie Adamas. We've got a couple, pretty a lot of, that's a young team for the, the Mariners for sure. We've got the Rangers. The Astros. So we'll keep, we'll, we'll kind of just go through this quickly. I'm not going to really focus too much on the names. I just wanted to give you guys an insight on how this rebuild is going at this point. Who's still in the league? Who's not in the league? Just so you can kind of see Bellinger, Harper. Okay. Matt Olson's all on one team. Interesting. So yeah, this is kind of giving you a little, little peek at what's going on just because it is 10 seasons in. We haven't made the postseason yet. And uh, we're, we're at a weird spot. Like a lot of the older, a lot of like the main superstars in baseball right now are definitely hitting the point where they're going to probably start to retire soon. So Acuna is going to be like, what, 30 at this point? Yeah, 31. So it's crazy to think about that way that, you know, Acuna, who's in real life, what, 24, 23, something like that. He's going to be starting to hit that uh, old. No, that's it. Yeah, that's about right. Sounds about right. Uh, 22, 23. So yeah, it's kind of crazy to think about it that way. But yeah, here's the teams. I'm not even going to show you the pitching. I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what everything else was looking like. You guys kind of get an idea of what's going on in the league. So season 10, I'll show you the squad really quickly. Here we are. Um, it's It looks decent. Definitely not too bad, not too shabby at all. I think we're going to slowly start to push even closer and closer to that. That wild card, possibly a divisional win. I'm liking the team. The bullpen is probably the best we've ever had. Starting rotations right behind it. And then again, you saw the lineup. Let's go take a look at the standings just to kind of get a look at where we're at. We're 27th. We're moving up. We're moving up indeed. I love to see it. Let's get through season 10. Hopefully, we can make the postseason finally. It happened. Oh, oh, it happened. 92 and 70. We won the division. Finally, we can actually start really making some progress in this draft only rebuild yes we won the division by seven games i mean the era is high but look at that average 283 okay i'm um, looking at some of the other teams in the league i mean we actually 83 and 80 won the east that's wild but we actually competed pretty well we compare pretty well to the rest of the league so yes 
love to see it. Let's go take a look at some of our league leaders. Stolen bases for Avalos once again. And uh, I guess we could take a look at some of the, the league leaders, especially since it's like a milestone. Season 10 in a rebuild. Some familiar names, some not so familiar names. Marco Luciano looks like he's kind of taken over for the, the Giants. I know he's part of the Giants farm system as well. But Julio Rodriguez with 46 home runs. Juan Soto's up there. Dominic Smith, Willie Calhoun. We've got Glaber still taking over. I've seen Glaber so much throughout this rebuild. I need to take a look at his stats. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's putting up some insane seasons for sure. Ford, mid 40s and above for home runs 300 average like guaranteed from glaber like like i was saying i've seen glaber a lot throughout this for league leaders awards all that stuff he is definitely taking it off i mean you can see he's been mvp three straight years unbelievable stuff right there so we didn't win an award which is a little disappointing i'm trying to see if we have even anybody in the mix for anything and uh doesn't doesn't look like it doesn't look like it which which is disappointing but it's okay it's okay we're we at least made the postseason so that's that's a big step in the right direction so let's take a look Hideki Matsui you know what it, it's not great definitely not great yo Toby Ham unbelievable he's only 25 he's 88 overall which is absolutely insane look at those stats he looks insanely good we've got Batista who Kind of looks like he's fallen back, which is disappointing. Henry Reyes is still putting up a really, really good season. You got Ayala, who back on track. Love to see that. Love to see those numbers. Jeffrey McLean is absolutely nasty. What are his attributes? Okay. Okay. And then our closer, Nelson. Not as good. Okay. So maybe swap McLean and Nelson. And then we should be good heading into like the rest of the season, you know. I'm I have, I'm pretty pretty comfortable with everybody there. Uh, we got David Chang who, it's just not putting up as good a season as I want. Same with Sam Pesky, Barry Camp, yikes. Uh, Terry Ty Terry. We've got Edgar Morales, and then back to David Chang. So it's just not as good as I would have hoped. I guess we could take a look at some of our farm system arms. Howie McMillan has 53 stamina, and we made him a bullpen arm. Is he a bullpen arm or is he just going to be like thrown into the rotation? I mean, I, I don't know what's going on here. The CPU constantly throws him into the rotation. We've got Cabrera, a couple other young guys in the mix. We got Preston Baines. We've got Hines, who I think his time is up with the team, unfortunately. We've got Rutledge coming up. Dave Hammock is 100% coming up next season. He looks insane. Who is he going to take over for? Batista, maybe? There's so many good arms that we have. We have Zuminski, who's an 80. We've got a lot of good young arms coming up that I have faith in the pitching staff. I really want our young hitters as well to come up. We've got Moya, who looks like a lefty specialist. We've got Soriano, who's getting better. Barney, who's been kind of in the mix. Dave Jordan, I think his time with the team starting to run out. Who else? We've got Bowden. We've got Lyles, who's a catcher, but I don't know if he's actually going to make the cut. But then as we take a look at our team, Freddie Mendel, I think his time's running short too. We don't really have a lot of replacements, but I think for the time being, we have he, he'll be okay, but maybe one or two seasons he'll be done. Barney Harley's most likely been relegated to the bench for good. Sung, eh, you know, Chadwick, okay. Played in about half the year, had a decent year. Definitely not too bad. And then when you take a look at Avalos, 24, he's only gonna get better. And then he had a crazy good season this year. Love to see it. We've got Freddy Guzman who popped off 41 home runs, 106 RBIs. Look at those stats. This guy is going to be our MVP going forward 100%. We've got Topic who had a, a good season. Love to see it. Yeah, his potential went down from last season, but that's a really good year. Burgess put up 40 home runs. Okay. Almost a 900 OPS. Felipe uh, Gonzalez was year seven, I believe, for our draft where was he yeah year seven okay i like to see that we've got Ibanez, who's who's going down in potential but still putting up really good numbers michael ross had a good year holy cow what he's only good against righties how is he putting up those stupid numbers we've got steve martin who's still putting up really good numbers as a catcher and then del gaudio 
all right it's looking like things are starting to come together and i'm pretty happy with the team so we won the division we're taking on the astros and can we win just give me one series win that would be amazing no don't do this to me all right we're gonna hop into this quick manage hopefully things go well i really want this win i i can't stress it enough i really really want this win um man who do we have on the mound ty terry looking at their team you guys can see who's in the squad and they start it off with a home run not the best start for the uh for us we're down one one run's not too bad i can work with one run okay two runs still not terrible i feel like we can come back from that if it starts hitting like four or five we might we might have some trouble for sure so come on guys let's get some let's get the bats going what's going on we have one hit so far that's not good enough all right okay come on we got one run avalos man i needed you to do something there but we're only down one so i'm comfortable with that first and second no outs tie ball game then topic goes deep makes it a three run ball game we're still th there's no outs we're still doing well i had to say something didn't i because we went one two three after i said no outs can ty terry get me through six he does i'm happy with that that is exactly what i wanted from him and could we get another run in we can't maybe even seven for ty terry all right we're gonna take him out we're gonna go Ooh, reyes i think or ham ham's actually been really good let's go ham sack bunt moves him over and ham gets us out of it and then ibanez goes deep oh yes i love to see this we're doing great can ham give me one more inning that's all i need from him a two-run home run okay it's a three-run game we're gonna head into the ninth though and we're gonna bring in our closer no all right mclean i i kind of put you in a really tough situation i didn't go down and i thought it would have moved down quick enough and i just didn't i guess i didn't hit the down button again oh he gets the double play and we win seven to four tie series we're going to game five Whew. oh okay let's do this all righty um I'm, i gotta go chang it's it's a make or break in our season can we start it off right though one run would be great okay that's fine we we at least had a base runner that's that's a good thing we had the base runner and we've kind of not gotten anything since they go deep with zach green what come on guys where's our offense there we go avalos hit him in bases loaded for freddy guzman he brings in two can we at least get like one or two more that would be great we can't but we at least took the lead two to one ball game get us out of there yes that's what i like to see still holding that lead come on get these runs in second and third avalos man avalos has been kind of quiet in the in the times that we need him you know those runners in scoring position situations and it's a two to two ball game man okay felipe gonzalez makes it three to two now it's five to two thanks to ibanez i'm liking what i'm seeing um i'm gonna take chang out i'm gonna go to Ooh, who do I go to here? Maybe Morales. And hopefully he can give us a couple innings. Five to three. And then five. Dude, Zach Green has our number. What is this? Who is he? What is going on? He has our number 100%. Gonzalez brings in another run. So he's feeling himself today. Okay, Morales is done. Morales is done. Let's go to Reyes. He's got some stamina about him. He gets us out of that jam, which is great um can we get anything there no reyes i need at least one more from you you do it perfect that is what i like to see and first and second come on bring it in gonzalez <sighs> unfortunate all right let's go to let's go to nelson and nelson with the double play six to five ball game can we at least get one more run one more first and second avalos just He's just not clutch. He's just not clutch. All right, McLean, I need you here. I need you here. We're moving on, taking on the Red Sox in the ALCS. Okay, here we go. David Chang can't start, unfortunately, since he just started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And I'm even going to bump him down one more spot because he only has 61 stamina. So, whoo, 
Ooh, let's let's shake it out. Let's get the nerves out. Let's see how this goes. Game one against the Red Sox, we do win 10 to three. Game two, we lose. That's a tough one. Game three, we lose again. Game four, we get the win. It's a two to two series. I'm gonna take out Morales though. As much as like, I wanna be like, yeah, dude, you're good to go. I have faith in you. I don't, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and we'll go like that. So here we go. We need this. This is like a make or break game. If we win this one, I'm pretty comfortable. But if we lose it, I'm not feeling too great. We lost it. Oh, no. All right. We got to win two to go to the World Series. We have to win two to go to the World Series. All right. We're going to take Barry Camp. And let's see how it goes. Griffin Canning's on the mound for them. Double play there kind of hurts us. You can see their team. They've got Austin Meadows. Luis Robert. Tristan Casas. So some new names for sure. Adam Hines. Adam Hines. He was on our team, wasn't he? Right? I got to double check that now. I was wrong. I'm thinking of the reliever Hines. I'm thinking of the reliever Hines. So that's not right. We do score, though, thanks to Michael Ross. Okay. We do have the one nothing lead, though. I like that. Let's keep it going. Keep the lead. No, 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 no. Nothing here. Runner thrown out going home. Whoever made that play, thank you. You're the man. The double play there really hurts us because that single probably would have brought in a run if we would have gotten a runner moved over. Michael Ross can't bring in the run there. But you know what? I need two more runs. There it is. There's one of them. Avalos brings in a guy. And it's... Ooh, Connor Wong goes deep. Or error. All right, Barry Camp, you did well today. I got to take you out, though. Let's go. Let's go Ham. He's been super clutch for us. He gets us out of that jam. So we're still up 2-1. to one. Like I said, we need extra runs. Bases loaded for Steve Martin, and he can't bring in the run. That's that's a tough spot right there. Tie ball game. Toby. Uh, Toby. Why? All right. Reyes. Reyes gets us out of it. We're down one. That, that does suck. That really does suck there. Reyes gives us some good innings, and if we can get a run or two here, that would be fantastic. Felipe Gonzalez. I'm going to play it smart. I'm going to go sack fly here. I just want the game tied up. Like, I want it to be at least e even. Um, if Reyes can give me one more shutout inning. Oh, man. All right. It comes down to this to this inning right here. A good, all right. A single. Runner scores thanks to Del Gaudio. Then Avalos brings it into the corners. Come on, Guzman. I need you here. Bases loaded for Topic. Fielder's choice. A pop up. And then a strikeout. Are you kidding me? Really? A single. All right. We got to take out Reyes. Let's go. Ayala. Ground out. A walk. And a pop out. Woo. Extra innings. Decides this one. Oof. This this is going to be this is gonna be tough. Avalos, I need you here. Can't do it. All right. Um, a fly out, a strikeout, and a strikeout. Boom. Quick inning for us. Freddy Guzman goes deep. Freddy Guzman, I told you he was going to be our star, and he proves to be it right there. Then Michael Ross brings in another. We're still threatening. All right. McLean, this is your time to shine in the clutch situations. Please don't do it. He does it. He closes it out. We're going. Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're not going. We need one more win. No, we need one more win. I got hyped for nothing. All right. Oh, man. Last game. I can't believe... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got hyped for that game for nothing. Like, I got, I got so hyped for it, thinking that was the one that was going to send us to the World Series. And it wasn't. It wasn't at all. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. And that was ridiculous. A triple to start the game, though. Um, corners. Okay, so runners at the corners. We take the lead. Runners at the corners again. Ibanez, I need you here. Sack fly. I'll take it. Two to nothing to start the game off. That's a that's a great way to start it. Going against Chris Bubic or Bubic. I don't know how to say his name. All I know is he used to be part of the Royals farm system. Now he's with the Red Sox. And uh, double play there. That is a big pickup for us. And it's still two nothing. Okay. So far, so good. Can we do it here? Things are looking good. We add another one thanks to Pedro Del Gaudio. And Felipe Gonzalez is on second after the uh, Chadwick walk. We bring in a run there. Ground out, but at least we brought... Oh, no, we brought in two that inning. So it's 4 nothing. Another double play. Yo, 
Ty Terry is a double play machine. He is the man. Guzman brings in another run. And then we got another one thanks to Felipe Gonzalez. Felipe Gonzalez, low key, kind of a beast. Kind of a beast. Ty Terry's pitching well. All right. We've got Tanaj Thomas. Okay. Playing, pitching for the Red Sox. I don't know if he's a real prospect or not. The name's not familiar, but it's, poss it's a possibility. All right. Terry's pitching well still. I don't want to take him out, but I think I have to. He just doesn't have the stamina to go the full nine. He's He's got this shutout, but I, I can't. I got to play it smart. I've got to play it smart. Um, we're going to go with the lefty. You know what? They got the string of lefties up here. Let's go, Nelson. He gets us out of it, which is just what I wanted. Can we get maybe another insurance run? I know I'm getting greedy. But if we can get another insurance run, that would be great. Let's go. Let's go Ayala for this inning. Okay, there we go. Topic gets on. Then Burgess goes deep. Burgess has been low-key kind of a beast too. And it's 8-0. And I'm going to leave Ayala in. Like, might as well save the closer. We're going to the World Series to take on the Reds. Are you... What? That's insane. We've done it. We've actually made the World Series in Season 10. That's insane. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's do this. Let's um, let's see who's going to pitch the first game so we can get an idea. It's going to be Edgar Morales. It is not going to be Edgar Morales. It's going to be David Chang. Um, and then Ty Terry just pitched. So we're going to go Pesky, Terry, and then Camp. Dude, our starters have been pitching very, very well. Super... Super happy with how things have go gone. Just David Chang with that little high ERA. Game one, we win three to one. Game two, we lost. Okay, game three, can we do it? This one is important. We lose five nothing. Oh no. Game four, Barry Camp gets us that win. Edgar Morales is not pitching. We're gonna go to David Chang. Pesky was doing all right. Terry was doing all right, and then Barry Camp. So those are those are our starters. David Chang, I need you here. This is a pivotal game for us. We lost one to six, so we got to win these next two games. Let's get into it. Whew. Alrighty, here we go. Game six of the World Series. Ooh, who do we go with here? Do we go Pesky? He's been struggling a little bit. Let's go against Nick Lodolo, who's a 95. You can see that kind of sneaking out behind the ready screen for the Reds. You know what? Ty Terry's feeling good, and then that means we could go to, oh man, maybe, maybe Barry Camp for the final game. Dude, the red squad was nasty. Holy cow. We'll, we'll take a little peek at their squad when they come up, but um, we've got first and third with no outs here. Base is loaded now. Burgess brings in one, but then there was an out somehow. I don't, I don't understand that one. Base is loaded again for Guzman. He brings in two. And now we make it four. Bases are still loaded. Chadwick brings in another one. It's six nothing. It's done. Lodolo's out, but they bring in Noah Syndergaard. Are you kidding? <laughs> Syndergaard. What? Okay, so six runs. Let's let's take a look at their squad really quick because I'm actually intrigued. So they got a 96. Um, uh, we'll, I guess we could take a look at it after the series just so that we can get an idea. Because I, when I was looking at it, it was like 96, 95. I think Winker's up there. I think all of their players are like stacked for rating. So this is this was definitely a tough series for us. Um, so six runs in the first is huge. That is a big, big win for us. And as long as Ty Terry does his job, we should be fine. So, okay. If we could make it like eight, nine, maybe even ten runs, that is when I'm going to be like, okay. This one's in the bag because right now two runs right there. They're back in it easily. So let's add a couple more runs. Let's get some of those runs back that we had. We got one of them back, which is awesome to see. Um, Ty Terry, though, has been phenomenal this postseason. Love to see it. Couldn't get a run there. If Ty Terry can give us six, that'd be great. I'm getting greedy here. I really am. Two runs scored. All right, he's coming out. He... I, I, I kept them in too much. I got greedy with it. Like I said, Ham gets us out of it. We do still have a three run lead though. So like as much as I am kind of freaking out, I still feel comfortable. We get one back. So, okay. We got two. We got those runs back. We're back, back in a comfortable spot. Ham, get us out of this. Perfect. Love it. 
Topic. Can you add a couple more? No, Burgess does though, though. Makes it a seven run game. Bases are loaded. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're in the eighth. Ham, I'm gonna give him another, another. Ooh, I'm not gonna give him one more. I'm gonna go to Nelson. He goes that lefty lefty matchup, closes it out there. And now it comes down to this game or this inning. And if Nelson can get us out of this one, we save some of our bullpen. Game seven, World Series time, absolutely insane. But I want to show you the Reds lineup just so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what we're rocking against. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's let's take a little quick peek at them. 96, 91, 88, 83, 91, 88, 89, and then 83. And their bench. Wow. Okay. What a team. Jeez, they are stacked. I want to take a look at like Riley Green looks like a beast, you know? What a squad. Let's go take a look at their pitching too, because compared to us, they're definitely the better team. So this one's gonna be a good matchup. Lodolo, Cease, McKay, 90s in their first three spots. They're look at their bullpen too. Holy cow. This is insane. Game seven time. We're gonna this is a good matchup. Game seven World Series. Man, unbelievable. Let's get into this one. We're gonna go. All of our pitchers are super tired, man. Barry Camp's done well. This might be a... Do we go pesky? Or do we go camp? Let's go pesky. Let's go pesky. I'm, I'm putting the faith in him. Can we... Oh, Avalos goes deep to start it out. That's a good way to send a message. Pesky, good first inning. Love it. Okay. No, Ian Happ, man. Come on. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. All right. Let's calm the nerves down. It's still a tie, go a tie ball game. So it's not like we're losing. It's still looking good here. It's a quiet game. What a game seven. The nerves have got to be high here. Can we can we do something? Let's just... Pesky's doing well. Ugh, two to one. Double play though. So we're still we're still in it. We're still in it. Del Gaudio gets on. Avalos gets on. Yo, the MVP, Freddy Guzman. I need you here. Bases loaded for toe pick. Fielder's choice though. A strikeout. And a strikeout. Oh, that one. That inning hurts. That's the inning right there. That's the inning right there. Okay. Sixth, seventh inning here. A walk, a line out, and then a fielder's choice. Okay. One more runner or one more person that reaches base. I'm taking Pesky out. Pesky's day is done. He had a good outing, but unfortunately, just, just, oh man, are we really going to come up short here? Maybe not. Okay. It's first and second toe pick pops up Burgess double play no man not like this we fought so hard this this series this postseason and it comes down to this dick love lady versus Felipe Gonzalez a strikeout a strikeout and a ground out dude that hurts so bad that inning bases loaded no outs and we couldn't score oh man all right that oh dude that's so tough all right so abanias was playoff mvp luis garcia was world series mvp let's go take a look at our team because like yeah we lost but dude that was pff, ty terry mvp for the pitching staff 100 percent. he was unbelievable and the fact that we oh so close dude so close all right, so what I'm going to do is the squad looks great, right? I, I like the pitching staff. I guess our starters could be a little bit better. You guys can see how everybody did in the postseason. I mean, Burgess looks great. You know, Felipe Gonzalez, more of a clutch hitter when we needed him to be. But what I'm thinking is we're going to continue with the squad. We're going to do one more year. We made the World Series in Season 10. You know, like things are looking good. We've got a couple young guys who could come in and definitely help us out i'm gonna do one more year we made the world series let's see if we can at least make it back and uh try to win a world series so let's do that let's see how it goes let's go one more year we've got to win this world series Alrighty, so here we go off season time mike trout retires he's in the hall of fame along with jose altuve we've got two exclusive negotiations we have plenty of money to do this um a lot of guys are on like really, really cheap contracts, like a lot of their rookie contracts or like um, arbitration and stuff like that. So we have plenty of money 
to make this work. I'm going to throw some money at David Chang. Marco Ayala, um, he's been good. He's not going to be a starter, though. That's the problem. Um, I'll give him the player option. If he doesn't want this, that's fine. But um, that's fine. It's like if he doesn't want to take it, it's going to suck to lose him. But I know we have bullpen arms that can come in. Uh, Jamie Hines hasn't pitched for us in a, f a few seasons. I'm going to decline this option. I'm going to let him go. We have other options available. So here we go. Let's go show you our draft picks from year 10. Um, now that it's technically season 11. And uh, I want to see you um, show you who we signed. Here we go. So, okay, they both signed. We have Robert Moore, who I picked him up because of his hitting stats. Great hitting stats there. Good pop. Oh, you can't see him. I lied. Um, or I guess you could because they're right below me now. But those are his stats there. See potential. We've got Miguel Ponce, who per nines don't look fantastic. I'll, I won't lie. Same with Alec Blocker. S Sandy Cole was our first round pick and i picked them because of his hitting stats they're not good now but like two three seasons easily one of the best hitters in baseball you've got uh quentin michaud he looks okay justin fernandez and then frank carlisle so the draft was okay the big piece would be sandy cole just super well-rounded and like by the time he's 24 25 easily one of the best hitters on the team so that's that's the squad um, I'm going to make all the changes that I need to by like signing everybody, getting the lineup ready for that one last season. Let's see if we can do it. Alrighty, year 11, final season for this rebuild. I know you guys want that World Series, but in, to think about it, 10 years of drafting, we're entering year 11, and the fact that we were able to compete and make a World Series is absolutely insane. So whatever happens, happens. This is how we're going to end it. The draft to glory the draft only rebuild whatever you want to call it here we go who insane insane 11 years of draft or 10 years of drafting and five years of just using a only draft squad here we are here we are so let's look at the squad here you guys can see everybody that is in the mix you guys can see their their ratings here, I'll go through their ratings kind of slowly so that you can sa can see their overalls. Obviously, that's in the corner over there. But um, then we'll look at like their career stats so that you guys can see them as well. I guess we could do that at the, the end. But I feel like since this is the last season, you guys can see their overalls now. And then we'll go through their, their career stats with the team, which is unbelievable. N nobody's going to change for the MLB squad. So we'll look at the career stats at the end of it. But this is, this is the squad. This is insane. A full draft team. Unbelievable stuff there. Unbelievable. Insane. So Hammock has come up. That was a big one. Same with McMillan. He's going to join the bullpen. And then this is the squad. Crazy stuff. Um, in the farm system, we don't really have anybody else that could join the squad. Rutledge is close, but he just isn't, just isn't there yet. And then Batista got the boot. He's in the AAA bullpen now. So... Lineup wise, Mendel got sent down. He's no longer our shortstop. We're going to have Avalos take over for him. And this is the team. Oof. We got Harley, Sung, Moya, and Chadwick on the bench. Moya's getting that pull. He's getting that call up. He's going to be that platoon guy that goes against lefties. Really good lefty stats. That's why I brought him into the team. And then here we go. This is the team. I love the way it looks. It looks insane. I mean, this is the team. This is the team that's going to do it. I'm super confident in it. Let's play this year out, see what happens. Once again, we are the divisional winners. 98 and 64. I love what I am seeing with the team. We're taking on the winner of the wild card, which means we're not winning a World Series. It, that's, that's just how things are. That's just how it's going to be. So, yes, I love it. We won the division. There we go. The ERA at four, still a little high. But that average is still sitting at 280. Look at that contact. Look at that pitching. Yeah, we've never really had power. The speed is a little bit low. The defense is definitely low. But the team, we're seventh in baseball. We have done it. We've created a team purely on draft picks. And somehow, we've come up to be one of the best teams in baseball. Absolutely insane. And I'm really happy with what we were able to do. I got super lucky in the draft, I feel like. We have definitely were able to come up with some really cool players. And Ty Terry is proving his worth, easily becoming one of the best pitchers in baseball. 
let's go through some of them toe pick is up there with a 323 average we've got avalos as well and freddie guzman you love to see it for hits del gaudio and avalos doubles we've got avalos as well del gaudio is on the board yes we're with anybody for triples avalos okay i'll take that home runs what do we got guzman with 37 i'll take that especially for a team that doesn't have a lot of power yes i'd love to see that for sure so there's that we have an award please be something good please be something good a cy young there we go we finally got a big award cy young freddie guzman second second in the mix for mvp man i'm intrigued to see what he had there and then looking at cy young's obviously we had ty terry and then topic was there for the batting title almost which is cool to see and then jeffrey mclean for reliever of the year jeffrey mclean yes love it love it love it and then that's that's about it that's about it let's go take a look at the team get an idea of when some of these players were drafted as well um just so you guys can kind of get an idea you guys can see all their their overalls ty terry in his final year with the squad year two first round pick ty terry what a season a cy young winner at the age of 30 there we go sam pesky pesky when was pesky drafted he was year four so he moved up the ranks pretty quickly and that's a good year from him we've got david chang our very first pick in this rebuild very very first pick year one first overall david chang and he's stuck with the team the whole time hasn't been as of like so great as of late but he's still was sticking with the team we've got brian salazar second season for, like second full seat or first full season but second season with the team salazar let me figure out when we drafted him salazar was year four one of the last picks that we had salazar might actually be the future ace of this team for sure and then barry camp barry camp was one of the ogs year three i would say but like he's been more of a four or five in the rotation but he still he still did the job still did the job not great but he got the job done as we move over to the bullpen edgar morales kind of a makeshift bullpen arm he was okay throughout the thing you know he got the job done again morales was year one later in the draft and he was okay again wasn't fantastic but again he got the job done henry reyes a starter turned bullpen arm in year oh when did we draft reyes i had it here i had it all mapped out when everybody got selected i gotta find reyes now reyes was year four and man did he move to the bullpen and become a great piece for us this year struggled a little bit probably more of a middle relief guy but unbelievable unbelievable move from starter to bullpen and become a star toby ham outstanding outstanding throughout this entire thing and i know he oh when did we draft ham year three 87 overall and unbelievable arm for us insane stuff toby ham is that man howie mcmillan was one of the more 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 recent ones year five first full season outstanding love to see it we've got dave hammock hammock oh when did we draft him year seven comes in does an okay job i'll definitely take that marco ayala was our second overall pick throughout this rebuild and yes he struggled this year only got five innings of work how can you give our best reliever five innings of work but you know what i'm still proud of what he's done throughout this rebuild super happy with it nelson was year four the second round pick in year four and had an outstanding year this year 26 years old still got plenty of years ahead of him love it and then jeffrey mclean is the superstar closer that we've always needed we got him in the sixth year of drafting and he's looking like he's gonna be just unbelievable unbelievable we've got nelson too that is why i take closers because they turn into absolute beasts all right the fun stuff now the offense barney harley year one fourth round pick actually he might have been a compensation pick or something like that throughout his career he was okay you know what he got the job done great placeholder at first base until topic came up 
came up. And even then, he still was pretty consistent with the team. I'm happy with them. Chang Ho Sung was year four. Didn't really get like a, a good chance to really prove his worth as we had Martin at the catching spot. But you know what? As a backup, got the job done. Next up, we got Jonathan Moya, who was... Ooh, when did we draft Moya? Year eight. And he made the big league squad and actually had a decent season. So pretty happy with that. We've got Chad or Von Chadwick. I think I've been calling him Chad Vonwick this whole time. Maybe, who knows? But he was another pretty recent one, year six. Not as good as he was last year, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. And that's the bench. You guys can see their stats on screen now, kind of. I mean, you guys get an idea of where they all are. And I mean, they got the job done. They were great. These guys, though, these guys were the superstars throughout the entire rebuild. Avalos, only 25 years old. Avalos was year three. And man, has he been outstanding for us. Threw him into the deep end right away. Got the job done. Love to see it. We've got Michael Ross. Michael Ross was an early pick too. Yeah, year two. And he stuck it out. A righty specialist for sure. But you know what? He got the job done. Did what we needed. And he's been great. He's been fantastic. Steve Martin was our most, I think one of the more recent catchers that we drafted year three. And I mean, he's been a really good the last two seasons. Love to see it. I mean, look at those attributes. Hitting machine. Next up, we've got Freddy Guzman. Freddy Guzman was year two. He was our last pick in that year two draft. And he is a superstar, 100%. 27 years old, still got plenty of time ahead in his career. Holy cow, is he good. Next up, Topic. Topic was the guy I knew as soon as we drafted him. He was taking over first base. We got him in year five. And like he's he's putting up really good numbers. Doesn't have that pop, but he's getting on base. He's getting the job done. I love it. Burgess. Burgess was one of those guys that I was like, what? How is he's only going to have C potential? He was your round three pick in year one. And I mean, this year he definitely took a step back. He still put up 20 home runs, but he has been a hitting machine for us throughout this entire entire rebuild. Del Gaudio, year three. Been really good the last couple seasons. Felipe Gonzalez, I think he's a more recent pick. Yeah, year seven. Was okay. A little clutch in the postseason. And then Ibanez was originally a second baseman, year four pick. There we go. Great year for him. There it is. There's the team. There's where everybody was drafted. Let's hop into the postseason. Final chance to win it all. Can we do it? Taking on the athletics. And like I said, we're going to get knocked out right away. I want the CPU to handle it. I know you guys probably wanted a quick manage. I know this video is already long enough as it is. And that's where we're going to end it. Unfortunately, that's how it ends. It sucks. It sucks. But you know what? This is something you guys have been wanting for so, so long. I wanted to bring it to you guys. The draft only rebuild. It took us... 10 years to make it to the not only like the to the world series i think in year nine we made the postseason i think i think i'm right or maybe yeah i think nine we made it to the postseason we got knocked out one series short of the world series and the next year we made it right i think that's right my seasons are all jumbled up i hope you did enjoy it though if you did thumbs up down below in the comment section let me know if you've ever done something like this in your franchise modes and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I know it was a little wonky. It was a little hit, cut and paste and just a lot of choppy stuff showing you the draft, showing you the results and everything. But I felt like that was the easiest way to get all the info across. That's it, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm going to leave you with two videos on screen now. Go and give them a watch if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.